Hello, welcome back. I'm Lori Williams. And today I want to talk to you about calming your nervous system. So I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to get into a lot of the nervous system stuff. Essentially what the nervous system does is when our fight or flight response is activated, uh, our nervous system will kind of flick on and start to release hormones like dopamine and cortisol in order to bring some semblance of balance back to us so that we can feel good again. Um, our body doesn't want us to be in a fear state. Our body wants us to be in what is supposed to be our natural state of being, feeling, um, happy and joy and all those kinds of things. So when our fight or flight response is activated, uh, we're literally like our body thinks we're in some kind of, um, fight for our life. Right. So it's counterbalances that by bringing dopamine and cortisol in. The thing is, and unfortunately, our society, the way our world is, it typically tends to breed fear. So for most people, your fight or flight switch is in the on position all the time. And you constantly have that dopamine and cortisol release happening. It wasn't until I learned to calm my nervous system that I actually could start to feel a difference between when the fighter is fight or flight response is on versus when it wasn't. I didn't even notice the difference anymore. Mine was on so much and things like cell phones, for an example. Um, I mean, I work for my cell phone, so <laughs> trust me, I'm on mine a lot. Uh, but ultimately the distractions around us, they're not meant to help us to heal our nervous system or to be able to shut down that, that fight or flight response. This is something that we have to actually like make sure that we take time and that we're, we're effectively like we're doing for ourselves. The cell phones are just such a, they're just there is to, to keep us, uh, I guess somewhat calm, you know, make us feel as though we're calm. Uh, but they're a diversion. They're not actually doing anything to help us heal at all. They're just a diversion. They're just going to keep us busy. Um, and that's why a lot of people have, that connection with the, with electronics is because they're in that constant fate of, state of fear, fight or flight. But this, you know, device or playing this game gives them some semblance of, okay, I'm, I'm in this moment. I'm not in this moment anymore. I'm now in the moment that's, that's happening on this device. Again, like I said, it's just, it's, it's the same thing. It's just coming out differently. The fight or flight is still activated. And it's that, that you want to be able to, to work through. So essentially I'm going to teach you, this is just a very quick thing. I do this every single day. Um, this is part of my process of healing, uh, my, my nervous system. And it's just allowing my nervous system to actually stay calm. So what I do is I get myself comfortable. I'll close my eyes, take a few deep breaths in through the nose and through the mouth. I just let myself just sit. I just let myself be. I tell myself constantly that I'm, I'm safe, that I am protected. I'm just very aware of my body. I'm not aware of my surroundings. I'm aware of my, my actual physical body. When you're around, when you, you switch from being connected with your physical body to being connected to your physical surrender, your outside surroundings, you're getting into that fear state again. The fight or flight is paying attention to the outside world to know when you need to run or when you need to fight for your life. Right? So you don't want to look at the outside world that we need to turn that off. We need to focus all everything within and be, let yourself know that it's safe, that you're safe, that you are taken care of, that you're protected. I just keep telling myself this over and over again. And I just let myself feel that I let myself feel into not having my fight or flight response activated. And honestly, it takes me the very first time, the first couple of times I tried doing this, it probably took me the better part of 20 minutes to even be able to switch off my fight or flight response. It was, in, I mean, I did not realize I knew I was in fight or flight a lot, but I didn't realize it was like so stuck in the, in the on position that it was like, I didn't even know how to turn it off anymore. Um, knowing that you're safe, knowing that you're secure, knowing that everything around you is stable. Everything is perfectly fine. There's nothing to fear. You can even like think about all the things that you love and just bring yourself right fully, completely 
body, mind, and soul into the present moment. That's how you help to calm your nervous system. And then stay here as long as you can. This is going to be difficult because your ego mind, when you're first starting your ego mind, it's going to tell you all the things you need to do. Oh, you need to get up and go do laundry. You need to get up and go take care of this or that or the other thing. Or my biggest thing was pick up my phone. You need to work. You need to, to reach out to this person. You need to check in on this person. And it was like, I had to keep telling myself, no, I need to be right here. I need to take care of me. This is what's important right now. Because when I'm trying to bring my focus back to other people or other things that I need to do, there's a fear behind it. What's that fear doing? Flicking that fight or flight response on again. Don't let it happen. Allow yourself to sit. If for the first couple times you can only sit and allow yourself to be for two minutes, then let yourself be for those two minutes. If it's five minutes at this point, I can work. I've worked up to being able to sit with myself for about a half an hour. And just let my uh, fight or flight response stay off. But I want to eventually get to a point where it doesn't come back on unless I need it. The irony is like as soon as I click out of that sitting with myself, it just comes back on on its own. I can feel when it comes back on. I'm like, okay, it's go time. Let's go. I'm getting there. <laughs> and that's why like this is a process. This is like, you know, it's not, it's, this is definitely like a progress, not perfection kind of a thing continue to work at it continue to be able to sit with yourself and tell yourself that you're safe and that you're you're taken care of everything is stable you're protected there's nothing to fear everything's 100 percent taken care of you just need to sit in this moment this has actually become part of my my morning routine which am i i'm going to be talking about uh tomorrow um on my other social medias so, um, uh, but this has become part of my routine is where like, I literally just feel into my body and I let myself just be, uh, and be like fully in the present moment. This does change the way I, or it has changed the way I go about my day. It, it changes the way that things affect me because if the time that you get out of bed, the time that you go to bed, you're constantly in fight or flight. You're just like, you're just in warrior mode, like 24 seven. That's it's insane to be in that in that fight or flight response twenty four seven and expect for your body and your mind and your soul to be healthy and happy. It's not. There's no way. There's so much of an imbalance going on. It takes one time, one day at a time. Like I said, progress over perfection. You don't have to be perfect at it. Just continue to make progress. Continue to allow yourself to sit with yourself and to feel into that safety. To know that you are safe. That nothing. There's nothing outside of you that can hurt you. Let me know how this works for you. I'd love to hear stories about people that um, have done the things that I have uh, taught them to do and how it's affected their life, how it's changed their life, how, you know, if you want to bring it in with, with something else, maybe this could be part of your journaling, you know, like you don't, don't feel like you have to do this separate from everything else that you do. Um, this could even just be something that you only do when you have a bath, you have a nice bubble bath and you sit in the water and you just let yourself be, you let yourself fully relax. You, you know, obviously you have no clothes on, so you can completely even more vulnerable, um, and just really let yourself be in that moment. Then th that's when you do it. If that's what you want to do, that's when you do it. Feel free to take this information I'm sharing with you and make it your own, do it in your own way, do it in your own time with whatever resonates and feels good to you. That's the whole point. All right. That is all for today. I'll see you back here next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now.